Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Molly and if you'd like to get to know me, um, <laughs> then just keep watching. So I went on my Instagram, on my makeup Instagram and my normal Instagram and I asked people to ask me if they wanted to know anything about me, like get to know me. So for my first video, I just thought that would be really nice. So I wrote them down here. And yeah, I'm just gonna go through them and see what happens. So the first one is, how old are you? So I am 23 years old, 24 in December. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, the next one is, do you have any siblings? I have a sister and a brother. My sister is 22 today. And my brother is seven, six, sorry, seven in July. Um, one of the questions is, what is your favourite colour? Um, my favourite colour is yellow. Um, just general, generally, 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 sorry. <laughs> um, but to do makeup with, my favourite colour is blue. I like doing blue eyeshadow. And I like doing green eyeshadow and I like bright pink eyeshadow. But yellow, I don't really incorporate into my makeup looks. I've done yellow eyeliner, but that might be something I have to delve into. Um, are you close to your family? Yeah, I'm close to my mum and dad. I live with my mum and dad and my brother and sister. And we're all very close. I'm very close to my, my grandparents. And... Yeah, I see my uh, other family. We are quite close, yeah, but I'm really close to my mum and dad and people I live with and my grandparents. It's been really hard during this lockdown not being able to go in my grandparents' house because it's just something nice, isn't it? It's very comforting to go to your grandparents' house and not being able to give her a hug or give my granddad a hug has been quite hard. But hopefully things will be getting better soon. Um, are you single? I'm not single. I've been with my boyfriend for over a year now and I'm very blessed. He's very, very, he's very, very nice. He's very genuine and he's very loving and he pushes me to do anything and everything. And yeah, he's always got my back 24 seven and I just love him to bits. Enough of the cheese now. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Um, how much do you earn a month? Well, that's a bit of a nosy question, isn't it? Um, not a lot. <laughs> um, I don't have much in my bank, but that's because of me. I spend my money on everything. Online shopping is the worst thing that has ever come in my life because that's all I spend my money on. Beauty Bay, pretty little thing, misguided all the time. But money-wise... I don't earn a lot, but in the future I might. That's how I'm leaving that. Um, do you have any kids? And if not, do you want some? I don't have any kids, not right now. Um, but in the future, I've spoke about it with my pop, my boyfriend, and yeah, we want kids. And the maximum I want is three. Um, minimum is two. I don't want just one. I'd rather have two, so they're not lonely. Um, do you prefer summer or winter? Um, that's a hard one because I really like Christmas. My birthday's in December, so that's why I like winter. I'm always busy in the winter because always you're always doing something. So you've got Christmas, my birthday, Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, all sorts of things. My my best friend's birthday is on New Year's Eve. My other best friend's birthday is at the end of November. So I'm always busy, which I like, but I spend a lot of money. Um, and in the summer, I really enjoy summer. I like going on holiday and everything like that. But I don't tan at all, as you can see. I'm very freckly. Um, I've got naturally fair skin. So I don't tan at all. So if I do go on holiday, I have to sit in the shade or I have to sit like under a parasol. So yeah. <laughs> so um, 
pre preferences i don't know what i would say i do i like them both but um i would say i prefer winter because i'm always busy so yeah and i like winter getting all snuggly it's cold outside you can it's an excuse to just stay in bed all day eat all the rubbish that you want binge watch netflix even though i do that anyway but yeah it's an excuse to just be fat and hibernate <laughs> um next one um what are your favorite hobbies and interests um i like to read i love a crime book police books like murder things i like that um i like playing on sims <laughs> Um, I'm one of them that will content will either not go on Sims for months and months and months and months and months, or I'll go on Sims and then that'll be it for me. That'll be my life for like six months. I'll constantly be on Sims. So, the addiction is real. <laughs> um, I like watching Netflix, going out with my friends when I can. Yeah, doing makeup. <laughs> um, did you go to uni? And if you did, what did you do? I did go to uni, um, I, I went to uni and studied early years, which is for children. Um, I went for three years, so I'm quite, so that I'm qualified to work with children at a level six thing, so that could kind of be like a really highly qualified teaching assistant, or I could work in a nursery, but I could take a manager's role or a really high role. Um, but yeah, I went to NA. I really enjoyed uni and I would love to go back. Um, what do you do career-wise? Well, I work I work with children with additional needs. So I work with children that um, are um, disabled. I, I'm basically like a teaching assistant. So I work in a nursery and yeah, I love my job. I love the children, I love the staff that I work with and I couldn't imagine doing anything else and hopefully in the future I want to um, do my teacher training specialising in working with children with needs. I just think it'd help them, yeah. So I'm going to go into my makeup questions now. I have got one more question but I'm going to leave that to the end because I think it's important to talk about it and leaving it to the end has got, well, help me explain what i want to say so um yeah i'm gonna go into my makeup ones now so the first one is what was what got you into makeup um and when did you start um well i started like i've always used makeup i used makeup when i was in high school um, the first makeup product i probably used to use continuously was Re dream matte mousse um, I don't know if it's Maybelline or Rimmel, but I literally never used a sponge. I used to literally go like this with my hands, cake it up and go, oh, and rub it in. And the more, the better. And so I used to love that you could see it. And I used to have a really long orange line across my across my neck. Um, but that was the in thing. And I used to always wear a Miss Sporty bright lip pencil, but I wore it all around my lip. So it was a luminous pink and that was the in thing. Me and all my friends at school used to do that. So it was Dream Matte Mousse and this really pink lip. And that was my first like products that I um, used. I'd love to um, use them again, but I don't even know if they still sell them. Um, and when did I start? Well, I obviously started then, but I started really practicing my makeup and stuff maybe like four years ago. Um, uh, yeah, that's when I proper started using eyeshadows and everything like that made and always bought my first, I think my first eyeshadow palette that I ever bought was an Urban Decay, oh, what are they called? I think they're like Naked, Naked 1, Naked 2, I think I had the Naked 3 palette and that was the first um, eyeshadow palette I ever bought and then I had the, um, the colourful wise, I had the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and the bright pink was my favourite thing. I used to use it continuously. But that's when I really started practising with my eyeshadow. And yeah. So 
I really that's when I started like loving makeup and now look at me <sighs> the next one is would you do makeup full time the answer to that is no I wouldn't do makeup full time I really enjoy doing makeup and I like I love doing it it's my favorite thing I probably do looks like two looks maybe more a week for my for my Instagram page and I'm going to be doing looks for my YouTube but I can't physically do other people I've practiced on my I've practiced on my best friend like a natural glam but I'm more I prefer on other people and really I like doing it on myself creative looks so like Halloween type looks like I love doing clown makeup and things like that um so I think if I was to do maybe some makeup I think I would do part-time and I would do um, Halloween so I'd take clients on Halloween if they wanted it but that's just something I've not done not tried yet because I'm a bit nervous but if you don't try, you don't know, do you? So, yeah, but I enjoy my job that I have now too much to leave and do makeup part time, uh, full time because for me, I feel like there's so many amazing MUAs that are already around in my area and I don't know, I just don't think I'd ever get like clients or anything like as, as good and be as good as them, but I don't know. The next question is, what do you love about makeup? And the thing I love about makeup is there's no limits, there's no boundaries. Anyone can do it. Like, and it doesn't matter if you just do, oh, just put a little bit of foundation on, or if you like full glam, or if you're just one of them who prefers like doing FX makeup, everything is makeup. And it's still, everything amazes me about makeup. Like, I learn new things every day with makeup and that's what i enjoy doing i enjoy doing creative looks i enjoy just pushing myself to do different things and i think makeup helps me do that and yeah i just love it love makeup um what are your essential makeup items like so if i was to think of that i would think like what would i take on a night out so i would take lash glue because i always 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 have false eyelashes on doesn't matter like if I'm going for a walk and I want to put a full face on, I'll put false eyelashes on. Um, lip gloss. I know I've not got lip gloss on now because it's gone off, but <laughs> I always take lip gloss on a night out. I don't like having nothing on my lips. Um, they would be in my makeup, but like in my bag, but I enjoy like highlighter as well and contour. That's probably like something and probably an eyeshadow palette i love eyeshadow so um the next one is one product you would take on an island mac fix plus i love it literally it smells amazing and i just think it refreshes you so much and even without makeup on you like putting it on it just feels so nice on your skin so that's something I would take on on with me. Or a pair of false eyelashes. I only like the Ace Butte ones. My favourite ones are Aria by Ace Butte. So I'd probably take them as well. Um, what are your Who are your favourite makeup influencers? Oh, God, I've got so many. So on YouTube, I watch Twee X Twee Lee. I really like her. I think she's just so funny and I love her looks. Um, it's Likely Makeup. I watch her and I follow her on Instagram. Um, M -m 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 Mitchell is repping where I live. I'm from where M -m 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 Mitchell is. And yeah, extremely proud to be where he's from. Extremely proud of him, where he's come from. Um, Stacey Marie MUA, I follow her on um, Instagram. I love her eyeshadow. I've got both her eyeshadows, palettes, the XL Carnival and the actual Carnival one um lord china i think she's just amazing she does the best creative looks um lauren roha on um instagram i follow i love the colors she just uses any color and they just match so well and i think that's where i get my inspiration from for my looks like she'll put any colors together and no matter what they look amazing and i think that's what makes me think oh i'll do that one that looks good i'll have a try at that and then um like jamie genevieve um, I love her. I love her Instagram. I just think she's gorgeous. 
and I, I don't know if she's an influence like she's I don't know if she's a makeup influencer but I really like Naomi John I think she's so funny and uh, yeah I watch her a lot um and I love her cats so um what is your favorite product oh that's a difficult one um um I think my favorite like I don't know like I love loads of things but I think my favorite 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 product that I would literally say to anybody to get would be wet and wild concealer um I don't know if it's the same one as the foundation but it smells so good it's not like bananas and it was just amazing I've actually ran out of it so I'm really upset so I'm gonna have to get some more but I really like that um and I really 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 like the Bretman Rock highlighter my best friend got it me um she just gets me things because she's amazing but um the Bretman Rock loose highlighter in Lioness it's golden and amazing and if you really 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 like bright highlighter I would recommend that yeah um who would be your dream brand to work with um i'd have to say fenty beauty because if you know me i used to be absolutely well i still am i used to be borderline like a mate like completely obsessed with brianna like i had my hair shaved because she had her hair shaved i went to see her multiple times i used to have albums and albums and albums of her on facebook just pictures of her what well, every perfume that she bought out um i've got a few fenty products myself i've got the the highlighter um and yeah i would love to work with her i just think she's so amazing and let's just not keep going on about rihanna <laughs> um i'd work with the be perfect i'd work with be perfect cosmetics as well that's who did stacy marie's eyeshadow palettes and i just thought the formula of it was just so amazing so obviously i'd work with them and i'd work with morphe oh, i just love all the eyeshadow palettes the setting spray is amazing the brushes i just love and they work with so many amazing people like james charles they've done one with twee that I that um eyeshadow palette they did with Twee. Um just loads of people and I just really enjoy the brand. <laughs> what are your favourite looks to do? Um my favourite looks to do are colourful looks. I will literally be one of them that'll do a bright eye for any occasion. So if I I'll go out with the girls or I'll go and get my mate or anything I am literally the person that will rock up with bright blue eyeshadow on and I don't care. I enjoy, love it. I just love bright looks. Um, if I've ever got my makeup done, um, they've said, oh, what do you want done? Like, and my sister always goes, oh, yeah, I'll just have like a natural, like soft glam. And I'm like, can I have a bright green, please? Everywhere. And like, and they always say, like, I love you coming because you literally just love, like, you push us to do, like, colourful looks, which I like, and I like doing it on myself. So I also like doing creative looks. Like, I feel like at first, when I first started doing them, I was like, oh, my God, I'm so rubbish. But honestly, I love doing it. I love pushing myself to do different things. So, like, yesterday I did a scarecrow, and it was like, I was doing it, and I was like, oh, this is rubbish. But at the end, I was like, this is amazing. I don't want to take it off. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, what advice would you say to someone wanting to start makeup? I would literally say practice, practice, practice. And if you feel like, oh, my God, I'm so rubbish at this and like, and people are saying, hmm, that's not really that good. Just push yourself. Like, don't listen to anybody. You do. If you want to do it, you do what you want to do. Like, when I first started, I was rubbish. I like, I can honestly say, like, I didn't even know how to stick eyelashes on. But now, um, I love it. And, like, people say, like, oh, you're so good. Like, how have you got so good? You just practice. And, like, hopefully, like, with my YouTube, I want to be making, like, tutorials and things like that. So I can help. If anybody wants to start doing makeup, I can do makeup 
looks that are easy enough to follow so that people enjoy them and they don't feel like oh she's doing it and it's so difficult like all i can say is anyone can do it and if you want to do it then do it there's nothing stopping you so the last question on my um igtv was what are your opinions on what's going on right now in the us regarding and even in the uk or and even worldwide regarding the black lives matter movement um i don't i feel disgusted that i live in a society where people aren't treated the same and they've not been treated the same for as long as i remember and i'm 20, nearly 24 years of age and i feel like it's always been the same um but I just wanted to say a quote that I think just resonated with me, like how I feel about it. So I'm just going to say it. it's from Carlos Rodriguez and it says, I see no colour is not the goal. I see your colour and honour you. I value your input. I will be educated about your lived experiences. I will work against the racism that harms you. You are beautiful. Tell me how to do better. That is the goal. And that's what I wanted to say regarding the whole my view that's my view that's what i feel like i education i want to be i might not have gone through it but i want somebody to educate me tell me how your experiences have made like affected how you've lived like i i'm free to i'm ready to listen i'm ready to learn just anything so that's my um get to know me video finished um i hope you liked it and you learned a bit about me um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i'll be doing weekly um tutorials glam and creative uh prob maybe two or one one or two a week um yeah and if you're a beginner to makeup and you want to know i'll be doing easy step by step so you can have a bit of motivation and inspiration to do your own looks so um yeah thanks for listening bye